First video of 2022. Let's go. I love Smash Bros. It's one of my favorite games ever. Definitely my most played. Been a fan since Brawl and I don't see an end in sight. So for actual years at this point, it has been my ambition as a LEGO artist to draw every Smash fighter as a LEGO minifigure. And yes, I am aware that that number currently reaches 89 characters. The thing is, I've gotten pretty close before. 2020 especially was when I really tried, and I got pretty far, but most of the characters weren't... good. And I ended up stopping because I tackled it sporadically, the only order dictated by a madman in his robot tournaments. 2022 will be the year I complete that goal, following the order of the Smash roster itself. Each video will tackle a different game, from 64, this video, to the Ultimate DLC. It will be long, yes, tedious, absolutely, but I want to look back on 2022 as the year I wasted a phenomenal amount of time reaching an arbitrary goal that meant something to me. Isn't that what we all want, really? Now would you look at that? It's time to get started. Three, two, one, go! Mario! Is, well, Mario. Can't really change that. I will admit it's always a struggle to make sure that Mario looks like Mario in the minifigure format, and while I recognize there's still room for improvement, I've gotten closer than the past few attempts. He's also great to set the standard of quality for all characters going forward. My brother, Serial Boy, mains him, and I'm proud to say he's never landed a game-ending forward aerial on me. He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. Now he's finally back, to never break eye contact with that stare. As I told some friends, if a drawing of DK doesn't look like he will do terrible things to you, is it even a drawing of DK? DK as a minifigure just doesn't work. I should know. I tried. And so I needed to go big. Big fig, I should say. I couldn't be happier with a finished drawing. It's the most successful big fig in my repertoire, and kind of captures the LEGO style and DK's look perfectly. This is, actually, the same link used in my anniversary series from Breath of the Wild. Can't fix what isn't broken. But he's part of the roster, so I gotta include him. Also, he's my secondary main. I just love the remote bombs. They're one of my favorite moves in the entire series. Samus, I am particularly proud of. It was actually a proposal from Discord member Nerd slash Pineapple Pizza Man that inspired me to use the new Bad Batch Wrecker armor piece for Samus' shoulder plates. And I think it works splendidly. Her arm is from DC's Cyborg, along with a newly sculpted mask. She is my current main, so I'm kind of obligated to do her justice. I acknowledge that Yoshi jumps out. Everything is fine until you get to the eyes. Those darned eyes. But I'm not sure that can be fixed, as any static image of Yoshi just looks vacant. The tax money is not going to good endeavors, I guess. If you can look beyond that, he's just as fine as anyone else. Obviously, eye contact is only for nerds anyway! Why is Kirby so hard to draw like this? You don't start with a circle. You don't just dot the eyes. There's no presto my butt, he's a ball! I had to look to the minions for inspiration for gosh sakes. I do believe this is a very feasible way for him to be accomplished. And while there are no recognizable pieces on him, this still sticks out as a Lego Kirby. If you're looking for more technical explanations of how it works, those arms are just kind of stuck in through regular pins, and the legs are two studs apart so he can stand up next to the rest of them, as happy as ever. Just waiting for the next piece of cake, or the next deity to mercilessly slaughter. There's a lot of jokes that could be made at Fox's expense, but I'm mature enough to avoid them. His head is from Rocket Raccoon, and the gun is just a regular, shooty gun that's been around for ages at this point. You know, I just don't like Fox as a person. I saw him at a party once, and he straight up acted like he didn't recognize me. Even though we've been neighbors for years, and we've been at like all of the same events, because our families are friends, and you know what? I'm not mature enough. Ha! Furry! Pikachu is in a similar category as Kirby. 
where it's just hard to make him recognizably Lego. I use the Lego Fantastic Beast Sniffler as the basis for his rodent-like stature, and again, I think it works well enough. There might be better ways to do it, but I stand by the electric mouse. He's still cute, and that's the most important part. Luigi is Luigi is Luigi is Luigi is Luigi. Same issues as Mario, same result. We can recognize the achievements of Luigi, all we want, but for something like this, it's just redundant. Sorry, Luigi stands. It's just Luigi. It's the eyes again, and this time, it's not my fault. Earthbound is terrifying. And you can't tell me Ness fights something like the unknowable embodiment of chaos and doesn't look like all life has been sucked from his body. Any more comments and I'll have to beat you up with his bat. Please don't take that comment out of context. I'm not a violent person and I really don't want to beat anybody up. Figures are good, so we're all fine here. Thank you. Raw confidence and power is necessary to any Captain Falcon fan art and this figure has it in spades. The stance, the smirk, all very in character for what might as well be a Smash original character. F-Zero? Psh! More like F-Zero games, am I right? Yeah, I'm right. The Magneto helmet is a part usage I am particularly proud of, and it really ties the whole thing together. I think Jigglypuff and Kirby both look pretty good in all honesty, and Puff might even come out looking a little better. It's probably the ears and the hair curl. She has a style and she makes it work. Puff used to be one of my mains, especially in Brawl, and man I was good. The idea of this face being the last you ever see is so funny to me. That'll do it for the Smash 64 fighters. Mostly pretty painless I'd say, except for Kirby, Pika, and Jiggles. 12 characters ain't so bad of a number either. But the next game is Melee, which introduced 14 more. That's not too bad either. I hope it always stays this way. If you'd like to see this massive quest continue, please be sure to like, comment, and hit that little but no, I, I'm not going to say that. Just subscribe, please. Hopefully the Melee video will be out soon, so stick around for that and anything else I make in the meanwhile. I have a lot of ideas for videos right now for the beginning of the year, and I'm pretty excited about a few of them. So until next time, later. Doom,